Our subreddit brings you our slash free folk. The subreddit that is still angry about Game of Thrones years after the show has ended. We do not kneel. Today's topic. A fan theory involving time travel. User Adixma posted. Theory, Ned hearing father from the visions of Bran and its effects. So this is a theory written not by me but by a YouTube user named BloodGod40 and it probably makes sense emo. Bran can't be seen in the past, but can make himself be heard faintly. And, obviously, we know that he can affect the past because of what happened to Wylas. The reaction of the three-eyed raven when Eddard stops and turns says it all. He visibly shits himself, thinking Bran is about to screw everything up, altering the past. Ultimately though it is inconsequential. Or is it? Here's a mind blow fan theory. Eddard was left with the word father stuck in his head as he rushed up into the tower, and upon encountering Lyanna and baby John, he decided the whisper he'd heard on the wind must be the gods telling him they wanted him to become the father of this baby. Hence he adopted him, and passed him off as his own bastard. Bumbake says. Ah done Wunet. Sweet Rabbit says. Ah Nivav. Faith Without Sight says. A better explanation is that he adopted the baby because he's his sister's son and didn't want him to die. What else would an honorable man have done? Revine says. Ned Stark, the story of a man continuously fucked over by his own sense of honor. Travel Any 398 says. Actually no, he wasn't fucked by his honor, he was fucked by him wanting to protect kids. 1. He lied to his wife and invited danger to his family by bringing John home. He sacrificed his honor as people, including his wife, think he was a cheater, all to save baby John. 2. He refused to order Daenerys be killed and stood up to his king and created problems to save a child's life. 3. He warns to say, not for honor, his honor and duty lay in telling the truth to his king. He put himself and his king in danger to protect Cersei's children and gave them a warning which backfired. 4. He confessed he was a traitor and Joffrey was the rightful king, that's not honorable. He did that to protect his daughters and he died as a traitor. There is a reason we have Meister to Eamon's words to John as foreshadowing for this. Love is the death of duty. If the day should ever come when your Lord Father was forced to choose between honor on the one hand and those he loves on the other, what would he do? When it came between honor and duty versus love and children's lives, Ned Stark always chose children's lives over his honor or his king or his own life. And that's what cost him, not his honor. Mark Root Live says, My theory is dumb and dumber thought the scene of Bran yelling father and Ned hearing it would be cool and mysterious and didn't think an end on it to further about the whole thing. Now it's time for our closing thought. F in the chat for all Ned. All he wanted was to stay in the north and probably die from pneumonia or frostbite at an old age. Instead, his wife convinced him to go south and undermined him every step while he tried to play the game. You should have lobbied up with a better player Lord Stark.